Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video I want to talk a little bit more about Python and specifically about Python variables. Now, variables are one of the things that you learn first when learning a new programming language. The same is true for Python. Variables are used to store data, to reuse data throughout your code. And we can store a bunch of different things. Among them are numbers, Boolean values, strings, and objects and arrays and stuff like this. So we can store a bunch of different uh, data types inside of a variable and the same is true for Python. Now in this tutorial I just want to show you how to create some variables, how to access data inside of those variables and basically just a real simple and basic overview on how to work with variables in Python. All right, let's jump right into the code. So I have VS Code open here and this terminal over here is WSL2. If you want to have the same terminal like this, you can get it. Just check out the videos on the channel or go to cosec.com and open the WSL2 section. There's a whole tutorial series on how to set that up. Okay, so I have created a file here called variables.py and the most basic form on how to create a variable is simply creating a variable that holds a string value. So we can go and do something like this. We can say name equals to Peter and we could say hometown equals New York. Okay, now we have created two variables and uh, as you can see, if you hover over it, it tells you that this is in fact a variable which is holding a string with the name of Peter. And the same is true for the hometown variable here. Now, how can we access this uh, value if we want to access it? The easiest way on how to demonstrate it is to just simply use a print statement. So we can go ahead and do print and then we could print the name. And if we run our code over here, we do Python 3 and then variables pi then we can see that Peter was in fact printed out and the same of course works for hometown. And if we print those both values one after the other we can see it first prints Peter and then it prints New York as expected. Now we know that we can create a variable with the simple syntax of variable then a name that's the variable name and you separate it by using snake case in this case and then we equal it simply to a string so we can we can simply do that like this now a value in python can be a number a string a boolean a list a tuple and so on and so forth when it comes to variable naming conventions in python uh, when naming variables in python we need to stick to some of the basic rules of Python and it is important that you stick to these rules to avoid errors and that other programmers can read your code better. So you can't use Python keywords like while or import to declare variables. So we cannot go ahead and say while equals a string. This doesn't work and it already throws us an error. The same is true for import. We can also not do that because it's a reserved Python uh, syntax or word that we cannot use to declare variables. Then variable names can start with a letter or underscore but not with a number. So as we can already or as we have seen in the previous example we can use any kind of name. It can be lower or uppercase. Uh, we can do it like this and it can also be a underscore. It can be underscore Peter equals Peter. So this would be a valid variable as well. What we cannot do on the other hand is to create a variable that has a number in front of it. It will immediately throw us an error and also it's not really good readable anyway so I wouldn't recommend that. But we can put a number behind a variable. That is no problem. We can create as many Peters as we want here. And last but not least uh, variables can not contain spaces. So we couldn't say uh, let's say Peter is the name or whatever and uh, this would also not be a valid syntax here. Another useful tip on uh, this note is that your variable names should always always be descriptive. So you should not do something like if you want to create a person uh, then you shouldn't do something like first name like a shortcut for first name like this for example is uh, Peter and then last name equals whatever Robinson 
I have no idea. And this is not very descriptive. And if somebody else is reading your code as well as yourself later on, if you need to pick up that code once more, you have no idea what you have written there. So I always would do like something like this, first name, and just write it out, last name. There we go. Now, this is a little bit of a exaggerated example, but uh, if it comes to numbers and if you do some calculations and you declare some values like X is 10 and Y is whatever, 15, and if you do this throughout your code, uh, things can get a little bit messy, especially if those numbers and values are associated to an actual term that you can name. So it, we could say like um, paper width is 10 and paper uh, length, whatever, it's 15, something like this. You get the idea. Of course, we can also create lists, um, say our list equals, and we put a list in there, apples, oranges, bananas. And we can also go ahead and just print out that entire list if you want to. If we run our code here, there's our list. And this is obviously makes sense if you're working with large sets of data and with, and with bigger uh, applications and stuff like this, that you use variables to store all kinds of huge data sets and you access those sets um, by addressing the variable names. So to summarize, uh, variables can be stored or can be used to store data that hold values. We use snake case to create variable names and variable names should be as descriptive as possible. And also we can't use numbers at the beginning of variable names. This is a rather short tutorial guys, but I just wanted to throw that out to you so that you can get started with learning Python. And I hope those small um, bits of information help you. I don't want to make like lengthy videos on those uh, rather short topics. I want to throw them out there. And if you want to uh, learn something specific about python like variables and stuff like this you can just pull up this video watch it and you have the information right there as always i highly recommend you to pull up the actual written article to all of those things because we have a REPL it a repository to almost all of our tutorials so you can just open that up and code along right with us and this would be the article here that you can find on seosec.com or in the video description below all right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope to see you back in the next one. Thank you for watching.